Well, yesterday morning, Gino DeFabio was a Youngstown guy, an employee at City Machines Technologies. Tonight, he's the Mahoning Valley's most famous supporter of President Donald Trump. 16 minutes into his speech yesterday at the Cavelli Center, the president invited Gino on stage to speak. This afternoon, I talked with Gino about the experience and the aftermath. So his name is Gino DeFabio. He goes, there's this guy, Gino DeFabio. He said it wrong first, then he, then he read it the second time. Gino DeFabio! And with that, Gino DeFabio, Cheney graduate and Southside resident, walked toward the podium at the Cavelli Center, gave President Trump a handshake and a hug, and delivered a two-minute speech. Well, this, this is Youngstown, Mr. President, but this is also the Steel Valley. And they wanted to find Democrats switching, possibly to vote for Trump. Gino DeFabio was interviewed by Fox News before the election. When the president's Youngstown visit was announced, Fox contacted Gino again. He appeared on air yesterday morning. The president was watching, and Gino received a call from the White House. He said, the president would like to get a photo with you tonight. would like to meet you. Gino met both the president and the first lady. They talked, and then the president asked the question. He goes, well, could I bring you on a stage tonight? And I said, well, you know, I was dressed kind of frumpy or whatever. I said, well, you know, yeah, sure. You know, you're not going to say no. Look what you could do in, in, the, in, the, in the bastion of the, of the Democratic Party. It must be what they, when they talk about the fog of war, when there's stuff going off around, you don't hear it. The place was packed, and I didn't hear anybody, and I didn't see anybody. I just thought what was in my head, and it came out. Thank you, sir. It, I can't tell you. President Trump handed him an official flyer of the visit, on which was his name printed phonetically. Gino does not know if the president wrote it. Thank you, Gino. Today, he was on Fox and Friends, Fox Radio, Fox Business, and was interviewed by CBS and WKBN. What, what happens tomorrow? Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll probably go back to normal. Well, as he left the Cavelli Center last night, Gino said he posed for at least 200 pictures. He said he laid down for about an hour last night but couldn't sleep. When I interviewed him, he said he was tired and he planned to sleep well tonight.